I am once again in Lightning Ridge, and I'm stopping by to see Graham, the retired potter, backyard physicist, and mudslinging pyromaniac, as he embarks on another experiment involving heat, glass, and crossed fingers. Another funny idea I've had. Well, at least I reckon it's funny. The suspending bottles in the electric kiln until they melt. So it's a fairly simple operation. Just ordinary tie wire from the garden. Break it round there. You shall just make sure that it's nice and tight there. And we just break the wire around there a couple of times and we suspend the, the bottles like such. Anyway, come down we'll have a look at the kiln and I'll show you what it looks like when the, the bottles are put inside. This is sort of like bring out your dead, bring out your dead. <laughs> so this is done in an electric kiln. So there you see the bottles. Just on couple of kiln props. We turn it on about two and a half hours we get to about 800 degrees and hopefully the, the bottles will have stretched out and they're sitting the bases are sitting flat on the floor there. A lot of high-tech preparation for it you might have noticed. <laughs> we'll switch the power on, set it to 800. So we'll take the little plug out in case there's any moisture in the kiln that gives it a chance to evaporate out. So after two and a half hours we can get a preview of what the final piece will look like. In the meanwhile Graham has prepared a gallery of some of his earlier bottle melting creations and a couple that didn't work out so well. If we go too hot Sometimes you finish up with cow pats, which is not ideal. Some of the others come out quite well. In fact, I've even started to give some of them names. So I call this one swans, because they remind me of swans with a long neck. This one reminds me of meerkats, so we call it meerkats. This is a bottle that was fired laying flat in the kiln. Sort of reminds me of an old monk. So these are some of the others that made it or didn't. And as you can see, they can get quite thin. And surprisingly, even that bit there, it's still hollow. You know that it's hollow all the way down. After a couple of hours we revisit the kiln to see how the bottles are shaping up, or down as it were. We've only got a couple of seconds for this. The bottles are looking pretty awesome. This is a view from a thermal imaging camera showing the incredible heat difference between the 850 degrees of the kiln and the 34 degrees outside success so far. <laughs> in order for the glass to properly anneal we have to leave the bottles in the kiln to cool over a long period of time so we left them overnight and came back to see the final result. The moment of truth. <laughs> well no big disasters so far. Now if we can Lift this out without knocking over those. Yeah, we shall go and release these from their bonds. <laughs> now, one of the problems. With the firing you often get little jagged bits like that and they're very difficult to remove. If you try and break them off 
probably the whole top will shatter and, and come off. Don't ask me why. It's one of the vicissitudes of applying heat to things. <laughs> My first thought was that this phenomenon may be similar to the way a Prince Rupert's drop shatters, but as Graham's bottles are annealed by slow cooling over a long period of time, and a Prince Rupert's drop is the result of very rapid cooling of very, very hot glass, our fragile bottles are probably more likely to be the result of an uneven annealing process creating internal stresses on the glass. Alongside Graham's meerkats and swans, this new piece needs a name. Well... Can you think up a name for them? Remembering this is going on the family television. If you have an awesome name for this bottle sculpture, please leave a suggestion in the comments below. You can still read the name on the, the bottle. This video was made with the support and enthusiasm of Graham Anderson in Lightning Ridge. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to IDU Curiosity on YouTube and following IDU Curiosity on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching.